Welcome back to TechSpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a video background banner to your Shopify homepage. It's going to be really helpful and of course going to be really amazing when somebody clicks into our store. So the very first thing I want to do of course is to choose a suitable theme. So first you want to ensure you're using a Shopify theme that supports a video background. So popular themes that support this feature include the debut, the Brooklyn, the narrative. So if your current theme does not support video background, you might need it to switch to a compatible theme. So for that, I'm going to focus here inside theme library and go for the option that says B to the theme store. Here into the theme store, what you can do is to look out for any specific category that you wanted to add directly into the features. So for example, I go for the upper side, I go here into searched and I go for video. So I go for music and video. So make sure that when you check out the actual store, the theme, we have now the video added directly into our theme section. If you don't, you have to worry about that. There's another solution that I can give you just in case you want to get started and adding this on your own. So for example, check out how this actual um, new theme has the current video added into this element. So this is what we actually are aiming for. So basically, if you go directly into the customize of your store, you might be seeing that there's a lot of assets that we can add. A new section, for example, here inside my home page, I have my template. Inside my template, what I can do is to add in a specific section, which in this case should be a background video. We have this video section, but this one actually does not work as an actual background. So this is not what we're actually aiming for. So if you wanted to, you can just select a Shopify selected video. For example, here I upload my own video and I am good to go. But in this case, what I need to do, of course, is to get started in adding my own background. So if I needed, of course, to enable my own background video, to enable this, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. So this link should be taking you here the pastebin.com where you can find a lot of coding elements without having to know a lot of this element so what i need to do first of all is to copy all of these elements from so i'm going to go for Control a so once you copy all of this schema i'm going to hit now into copy i'm going to go here instead of customize let's go for edit the code because what i wanted to do is to create a new section a new asset so inside here, I have the layout, the template and section. So here into section, you should see that here are a lot of sections. So what I need to do, of course, is to create a new section. So I add new section. I go here for file name. Let's go for background video. I hit into done. And of course, this one is in blank. So I can delete all of this schema and paste the schema that we have just uh, copied from the link that I just gave you. If you hit into save, what you can do is to exit now, go into customized, and into customized, you go directly into the template or the page you want to add to your background video. So I here go for add section, and usually here it should be appearance your background video element. If you don't see it, you can just type here into search section and look out for it. So I select my video background. And here, of course, is going to be asking us now to add a custom video element. So I choose the video slate and I can use a video link. Make sure that you go directly into content files and upload your video. This should be MP4 and less than five seconds in order to use this as a GIF. I'm going to paste the URL of the video that I have just added and make sure it is actually working well. Since my background video is now inside my store, what I just need to do is to select all those elements so I can, of course, make sure that my video um, looks well. For that, I can go directly into my colors, create a new scheme, and into the background, I'm going to delete this so I can use this as transparent. So there you go. So I can go back, select this new section here, for example, and the scheme should be the transparent background. So I have now revealed more about my video. And there you have it, guys. A really easy process how we can use this stuff as a video background. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. You want to receive more amazing tools of how we can get started here inside Shopify. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, with all of that being said, you continue to a brand new section of TechPress. See you next time.